What is up guys, Andy Forrest Team Runner here. Welcome back to another video and this is my first impressions of the Brooks Hyperion Max. There we go, nearly 23 miles done for a first run in the Brooks Hyperion Max. Talk about throwing it in at the deep end. I had trust, I had faith, and it delivered in abundance. I am really excited to give you guys my thoughts on this shoe today. And like with all first impressions videos, I'll be going through the technical overview of this shoe too, so you guys can get an idea of the specs and then how it performed on its first run. So if you're excited for today's video, guys, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content, and we'll dive in to the tech. We can start by saying I went true to size in this shoe, UK size 13. It's an eight millimeter heel to toe drop. Exact stack heights aren't confirmed by Brooks. I found in the region of 30 to 22, and I've even found 34 to 26. It's in the low 30s at the back, meaning it's gonna be in the mid 20s in the front. And in my UK size 13, we're talking about a very lightweight 9.5 ounces or 270 grams. And as always, we'll work our way from the heel counter down through the ankle collar, the tongue, the lacing, the upper, the midsole, and then move our attention to the outsole. This in theory shouldn't take too long because it is a very simplistic but effective shoe. So in terms of the back here, quite a good bit of stability and structure for the heel, which is kind of what you want, and a good bit of cushioning, which is incredible considering the lightweight package uh, of this shoe. Lovely cut under the ankle bone, very, very nice. This whole back section is great. And we'll talk about the upper shortly in terms of the lockdown and stuff, um, but the back section is really, really good. In terms of the tongue, it's not gusseted. Um, but it is kind of held in place by this little loop on the base of the tongue, so I didn't feel the tongue slide left to right. It just held nice and firm, and it is paper thin, uh, as you can probably see on the overlay footage, but kind of like a centimeter down on the top of the tongue, you do get a little bit of padding. So this top bit is just very, very thin fabric, and then a little bit of cushioning to protect the top of the foot when you cinch down the laces. Everything I'd expect from this shoe, a very simplistic but effective lacing system. Nothing different going on there really from the tempo to this. But what I really loved about this was the laces themselves. They're quite grippy. They've got a bit of texture to them. <clears throat> so you feel like when you do lace them up and you tighten them, they feel like they're secure and they're gonna stay in place. There's a little bit of kind of, I don't wanna call it roughness, but there's a little bit of texture, as I said to it, which is really good when you're tightening them, you feel like you're nice and locked down there. The upper is roomy and I love it. So you can see there's even a bit of extra material here. So for us wide foot people, this works really well. I always found like I had a lot of room in the um, in the tempo and this is no different. It is a stretch woven upper, uh, which runs all the way around with ventilation holes in the toe box, nice and lightweight, nice and thin. It says stretch woven, I wouldn't say it's particularly stretchy, but it does mold around the top of the foot for me really nicely. And it's just light, comfortable and breathable. Bearing in mind, I ran in very nice dry conditions, so I don't know what it's like in the rain, but. In, the, the, in what I ran in, it was incredible. So massively good score for the upper. Midsole DNA flash, no change from the tempo, just a little bit more of it. I think two or three mil extra stack height roughly. Um, and again, I love it. I will talk about this more shortly, but it is just an incredible midsole. And then the outsole is just rubber placement uh, in strategic places with a little bit of exposed midsole. One of the factors that I loved about the tempo is how grippy it was. This is no different. I was transitioning from road to trail so well, and it even says on the Brooks website, this kind of outsole can handle a good variety of services without really kind of distorting the shape of the shoe at the bottom. I totally get it. It's lovely and grippy, works really well on the light trails that I run around here, plus transitioning to the road was really nice as well. So that is it for the tech.
So now on to the juicy bit. How was this shoe on the run? Why did I throw it in at the deep end and how did it absolutely excel? on that long one. My very first, uh, quickly, disclaimer, this is a pair of shoes that were sent to me by Brooks for the purpose of review. However, they have no editorial control uh, over what you're seeing here today and they won't see anything before you guys get to see it here first on YouTube. Having said that, a massive thanks to Brooks for sending this to me. So grateful because I flipping love the tempo and this is incredible. So if you love the tempo, you definitely want to check this one out. Let me get this straight because I got a bit confused when I saw that in the summer there's going to be a shoe, I think it's just gonna be called the Hyperion, which is the successor to the Hyperion Tempo. This is the Hyperion Max, which isn't the next evolution of the Hyperion Tempo. I think that's coming out later in the summer. So hopefully I'm correct there. Uh, and I've got to say, this is an absolute winner. So we get an extra stack height in a lighter package. My tempos were 279 grams, this is 270. So we're shaving weight. And just for perspective, uh, because I know I'm a UK size 13, a lot of you uh, have a lot more normal size feet than me. Um, my vapor flies are 244 or 45. So we're talking 25 grams extra for a really lightweight packaged training shoe. So that's how light it is, it is really good. And I decided to throw it in at the deep end because first of all, I love the, the nitrogen infused midsole. It's just incredible. Yes, it's on the firmer side. A lot of people aren't a fan of it because it is firmer. I love it because it is firmer. What I do find sometimes with softer, softer midsoles without plates is that later on in a run, like the Speed 3, and I have found this with the Speed 3, it gets a bit mushy. It gets a little bit too kind of marshmallowy and I lose that propulsiveness. You just don't lose it with this shoe. Um, the run itself was two and a half hours, two hours moderate, uh, 30 minutes at marathon pace and I knew I had to pick it up. I would never have hesitated to have done that in the tempos before and I didn't hesitate to try this again because I knew it, there were subtle changes between this and the tempo, although it's not the upgrade, I knew it was just subtle changes, bit of extra stack, bit of a, a more aggressive kind of uh, cut back here. Um, but what I feel like in the shoe compared to the tempos, I do feel faster in it despite the extra stack. I don't know if it's the rocker, I don't know if the angle of the front's changed, but whatever it is, I've just felt fast in it. I felt really good on the run anyway, and I think that's due to training and stuff, but I felt like the shoe was just working with me so well. Um, I genuinely cannot speak highly enough of the shoe, and I, ha I hand on my heart have absolutely no negative points uh, to say, but there's nothing negative I can say about this shoe, not one thing. If you know and have watched the fact that I love the tempos, you'll know that this is no different uh, in terms of my thoughts and feelings. In fact, it's a better upgrade. So for me, I've got to say that it just excelled and be, to be able to pick up the pace at the end of my long run, which was the previous video. If you didn't check out that video, go check out that long run video. I did a long run workout with Matt. It was great. You can see all the paces there. You can see how hard we worked and it was a great long run. And it was, you know, wearing this shoe, it was just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, going back to the comparison, I do often find uh, softer midsoles a little bit uh, too squidgy towards the end. I do sink into them a bit more. I don't get quite as much back. You never lose that with this. You never lose that bounce back ability. Two and a half hours in and I was still bouncing down the road and feeling so, so good in this shoe. So. Overall, after first impressions, I feel like it's gonna be really versatile. I think it's gonna to get to 100 miles very quickly. I think it's gonna be anything from a moderate pace shoe all the way up to 10K intervals. I'm gonna try it on an interval workout later this week, just like I did with the Tempo. I just know it's gonna excel. I hope it's gonna excel. Um, I'm wishing it is because it's gonna become an absolute go-to pretty much most weekends for my long runs now. This is the non-plated option in my rotation. Everything else can now just move out of the way. I'm not interested. This is the only thing I wanna look at for non-plated long runs for the rest of this block. That's how good it is. That's how excited I am about it. And that's, yeah, just in a nutshell, it's a fantastic, I want to say update to the tempo. It's not, but it's just another fantastic offering from Brooke. So that's my first impressions of this shoe. I'd love to hear your thoughts if you've picked up a pair and what you think. Uh, if you've got it, do you like the upgrade from the Tempo? Were you a fan of the Tempo? Is this on your radar? Definitely my recommendation is if you can find the Tempos on discount, just to try them, maybe for like 80 or 90 pounds, get them before investing the 160 into this get a feel for the DNA flash, break it in, give it two or three runs, then see how you feel. If you like it, definitely head over for this because this is great. If you already like the tempo, 
definitely head for this. This is gonna be a great ally in your marathon training or your training in general. So as I said, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. Once again, Brooks, a massive thanks for sending the shoe. So grateful. It is an absolute banger. I love it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then.